So uh, drawing the face is one of those incredibly cool basic skills um, that can sort of move you forward in drawing, right? It's something, if you can do it successfully, um, if you can have a method for doing it, then it's something that you can show to people and people say like, oh, wow, what a, you know, what a cool drawing. It so it's rewarding and you need those rewards in order to continue creatively, right? Uh, but one of the things that is always the case in drawing one, um, in drawing one or people that are inexperienced in drawing is you don't know how to focus on structure first, right? Uh, everyone's initial approach to drawing is to focus on detail, right? So you might be able to, to uh, really render um, something really well, like say the eye, right? But you won't know how to place it in the structure of the entire face. So, um, so one of the most important shifts you can make for your growth in drawing is to, um, is to always have a way to evaluate structure, right? Like if, if there's something wrong with the structure, I will literally do anything. I'll paint over the drawing with white and redraw it, right? Uh, because those things, you know, understanding structure, you can go in with the plan, but as you draw, you can lose sight of the structure because you're focusing on details. Um, so we're going to do a little exercise to have understanding of the structure of the face. And, um, and it's a little bit different, but it, it emphasizes um, keeping things in your body, right? And having usable tools, having things that are accessible to you um, that you can immediately reference instead of conceptual tools. Um, all right, so let's get started. Okay, so basically this process is you're going to use your hands to take some measurements of your own face that you can refer to, right? Um, so here's how it works. And please make sure that, you know, you're not supposed to be touching your face. Um, make sure that you haven't been outside recently, um, et cetera, et cetera. And wash your hands really well before doing this. Um, but it's no big deal. And, and what you're going to do is just create measurements with your fingers. And there's something about doing this that really solidifies the proportion in your mind, right? So, um, so the first measurement is just uh, making this field uh, like this around the eyes to see the general area that the eyes take up. And you can see that this whole um, shape of my eyes plus my nose is really just a little bit um, a little bit longer than my glasses, right? So kind of as I'm when I go into my drawing, I can make this shape and um, and I can check myself for the proportions of the nose, right? Um, now another really important one, and this is kind of surprising. Um, is if you uh, take your take your finger and just pretend you wear glasses if you don't that's fine but but push up your glasses and then put your thumb at the tip of your nose like right where your right where the tip of your nose ends like that right and then when you look at it you can see um, you know my nose isn't really that long it only goes about to my first knuckle um, so you could even uh, you could even mark that with your pen right. Cool. The nose is not really that long, right? Um, now, the other thing that I do is then take your same finger, the same finger that you just used, and put it from the tip of your nose all the way to your chin, and put your thumb under your chin like that. Um, now, sort of place with your thumb where your chin ends, and you'll see that um, that is basically my whole finger uh, back to the main knuckle, right? So I can examine those proportions and I can say, you know, whoa, my chin is really long. Um, that, and so that's something that people, um, that people always abbreviate when they're drawing. They don't, you know, they don't think the chin is as important as the eyes. Um, and, and the nose is really short, right? Um, at least my nose is. But I bet these general proportions will probably... Uh, match your face as well, right? Um, so there's all kinds of biases when you approach drawing a face because everybody has some knowledge about 
how to draw a face no matter what you say. So always checking yourself with proportion will help you, right? Um, and there's there's other things you can do. You can kind of have a sense of your um, your brows and the spacing of your eyes. One thing about your eyes is that the space between them. So see this, see the the length of your eye. Like if you um, let's see, if you make a little measurement like that. The space between your eyes, including the nose, is the same as the distance of one eye. So you think of like this little harmony of three, right? Like there's a space for an eye, there's a space for another eye, and then there's a space for a third eye, right? And even when you turn to the side, the nose, my nose gets in the way, but, um, but that space is still there, right? Like it's still one, two, three. Um, and then... And then, um, yeah, but that's but that's basically it. You can also see um, your ears are lined up with your nose. So um, so just take some time, do those measurements that I have done, and do some of your own just to familiarize yourself with it because it's a way of um, physically checking that your proportionality is correct. Um, Everyone, because we are all focused on the eyes, that's how we communicate. We ignore the nose and mouth. And so I promise you that your proportions are always going to be wrong when you go into this. And you'll always make this whole, um, this whole array of shapes for the mouth too small um, because you'll want the eyes to be bigger, right? Um, but having that little simple check of saying like, oh, my nose is pretty short. And the distance from my tip of my nose to my chin is pretty long, right? So that's a helpful way to get started.